Hey, what's up, you guys? Kevin Zuckschwert here with KJZ Music. I'm about to give you a lesson in seven scales you need to know. If you find some value in my video today, give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a bunch, and it doesn't cost you anything. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified of upcoming videos. Um, if there's a topic that you need help with, there's a guitar lesson you were hoping to find, let me know in the comments below, and I can make that for you in future lessons. Are you struggling to play lead guitar over chord changes? In this video, I'll show you exactly what you're missing. Seven scales every intermediate guitar player should know. It won't be easy, and it's not a quick fix. It's absolutely worth it, though. Be sure to watch to the end for three ways to get a great guitar tone. The problem, your friend starts playing a chord progression. He plays C, then he plays F, then he plays G. Let's break the chords down. C chord. What notes are in this? Quick, tell me out loud. C, E, and G. I hope you got it. Next, we go to F chord. What notes do I have in the F chord? Tell me out loud. F, A, and C. Hope you got it. G chord. Tell me the notes out loud. What do we got? G, B, and D. That's what you need to know to be able to play lead guitar over a chord progression. You look at your friend, he plays the chord, you can automatically think of the letters in that chord. He switches chords, you can think of the letters in that chord. He switches chords again, and you can think of the letters in that chord. Learn that first. Now that you've got that figured out, we're going to look at the seven scales you need to know. Let's start with the C major scale at the eighth position, also known as C Ionian. Now there are only three shapes to these modes. They are three notes per string patterns. And the three shapes you will need are whole step, whole step. The other shape, the second shape you'll need is half step, whole step. And the third shape is whole step, half step. The entire scale has two each. The first two are whole step, whole step. And then the next two are half step, whole step. And the next two are whole step, half step. Now you need to know the letters in this scale as well. So that's one thing that you're going to have to work on with this. You're going to have to think to yourself C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Now when your friend plays a chord, C, E, and G, you use those notes as a home base in your scale to play lead guitar over it. scale and play over the F chord and then again play over the G chord. I'm going to link to another video that will detail all seven scales that you need in addition to the C Ionian you've learned today. I'll go over them real briefly here and the link will be available to go to that video there. The D Dorian mode is next, second mode of the key of C. You'll start on the 10th fret here. <laughs> to the third mode which is known as E Phrygian. We'll start that on the 12th fret here. Next up I'm going to jump down to the first fret. I could also play that at the 13th fret. It's F Lydian, the fourth mode. Next is the G Mixolydian mode. That's at the third fret. And next we have A Aeolian, the sixth mode at the uh, fifth fret, excuse me. And last we have B Locrian at the seventh fret, that's the seventh mode also. Alright, if you've made it this far, I promised you a bonus. Three ways to get a great guitar tone. Let's start it off with number one. Bias Effects 2. 
This is my iPad Air iOS. I use this app on here, Bias Effects 2. It has some amazing sounds on it. You get all kinds of amplifiers, which you can control like this here. And you can change all of the controls of the amp that way. Speaker simulator and microphones and all kinds of pedal effects that you can choose from here. Take a listen to this one. How about a little something heavier this time? You just push the pedal view here, find the amp that you want to use. Modern Gent Tone is one of my favorites. Check this one out. Next up is number two on our list, the Boss GT100 pedal board. This pedal board's a lot like the iPad app. It has built-in amplifiers, pedals, speaker simulators. Everything's virtually the same except for it's all in one unit on the floor and the floor switches are awesome. Okay, check out this next preset. All I got to do is click one foot switch here and it changes the amplifiers, the effects settings all in one switch. This has dual rectifiers on it just like Metallica. What a great sound. Check it out. Last but not least, number three, it's a great way to get a good guitar tone. The Roland Microcube GX. Don't discount this little amp. This thing sounds great. It has low wattage and is a great practice amp, but you can plug this into external speakers or external power amps and get great tones similar to the pedal board and the iPad app. Now check out the extreme amplifier simulation on this amp. If you received any value from this free guitar lesson, be sure to smash that like button. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a bunch. If you want to learn more about playing guitar, creating music, and all kinds of music-related stuff, start now by hitting the subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. If you'd like to get my help personally, go to my website and click the Book Online tab and book a paid Zoom session at kjzmusic.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Number three, <laughs> let me try that one again. <laughs>